I'm so sorry to hear that. I'm really sorry. I feel terrible right now just by hearing it. So I understand what you're going through. Okay. I totally Apart understand. from photos, I don't have anything with me. So I took up his clothes. I said, for time being, at least I'll feel that he's I there. I think with you're doing a fantastic job. I don't think that I should give you a feedback as such because I couldn't, you know, uh, notice any mistakes at all. Right, whatever you said was amazing. All right, connect with you, Kavita. I think yeah, uh, we are connecting time. for the first time. Yeah, yeah. first time, first time. And this time. is my right. third session on Life and Love. Okay, very nice. So, uh, tell me a little bit more about yourself, Kavita. I work as an academic content writer. I have finished my post graduation in chemistry, and I take chemistry classes online through private okay. coaching, and I also take English classes. and with that i have a tiny youtube channel where i'm working for english and this video Wonderful. is going to be recorded and maybe i'll be uploading this on my youtube channel okay okay right see so doing multiple jobs at the same time which is great but i should say currently i've stopped everything for last 4 to 5 days i've stopped everything okay all right is it because you want to build your a uh, youtube channel or is it because you are fed up of everything no i'm completely mm-hmm. heartbroken and there's something huge happening in my life i'm suffering so much that whatever i start doing i'm unable to concentrate in that and this is why i booked a session to just get relieved a little bit and come up okay. of those thoughts and little bit have a talk with a friend at least so i request you not okay. to put up okay. a conversation of any topic let's have casual conversation for today yeah sure sure we'll mind. do that my voice is little little heavy it's I okay i can understand it's not. okay it's okay it's perfectly no fine don't worry no problem at all okay first of all i'm really sorry to hear about your troubles and everything i just hope I'll and i I'll, I'll tell you I'll everything pray. i'll tell you everything what is happening but I want to know you first because as this is going to be uploaded on my YouTube, so I sure, sure, sure. Yeah, I'll tell I'll tell you about myself. So uh, I'm Rohit, and I live in Kerala, and mm-hmm. I was working at a bank, and right now I'm, you know, getting into the software industry as a software developer. Oh. All right. So besides that, I'm a semi-professional cricketer, and oh. I've been I've I've been with Clappingo. Yeah, mm-hmm. thank you. I've been with Clappingo for almost a year now. Oh yeah. All right. Okay. So, yeah, yeah, I have seen yeah. some of your videos on YouTube. I know you. Okay. I have seen you with other other students. So I thought that mm-hmm. this person is going to be good one for me. I picked up your slot. It was available for okay. this one. All right. All right. Okay. So uh, you know, once again, I just wish that everything just gets back to normal in your life, and I hope you mm-hmm. feel better. Something, uh, will, that will, happened, something that has happened something that has happened rohit sir okay, okay. is never going to get back there is no solution for that and there is never coming back it's, it's that kind okay. of tragedy happening actually okay. the worst phase i have ever felt i was so energetic so happy in my life working at multiple places and doing so many tasks at the same time and completely enthusiastic even if i take up classes at night 11:30 i'm completely okay i don't feel like i have worked the entire day it was too okay. good and suddenly it's like someone just came and cut down my wings and they have told me that you don't deserve this you're trying to be quite higher than your level and please do come down come back and it's just that my wings are cut and i'm just sitting down once again with no hopes of future and i don't know where to start from and how to reshape the dreams which i had fixed already by this age okay. almost we are at the age where we start working and we start settling up and at this age i am writing down the dreams once again modifying it with someone's absence it's like that wow okay all right so um i totally understand your feelings right now and you know i just want to tell you something yeah. you know life is always a bumpy road isn't it there will be ups and downs in everyone's lives and you just have to get on with it and yeah i know that it is hard at times 
this hard so all you need to understand is that it is going to get better the this too this phase of yours it will pass okay. all right you'll get better that is what i would like to share with you and it has happened with everyone it has happened with me all right so i'll just tell you something you know in my life <clears throat> i've always wanted to go abroad hmm. okay and it has never happened i've been trying for the past 5 years right and even right now i'm doing that but it just did not happen okay so what what how i take it is that uh, it is all right you know i have I've actually created this mindset that it is all right to to work here all right and in some day hopefully i'll get abroad i'll 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 you know work on my dreams i'll you know i'll settle down over there so you know you sometimes have to make adjustments in your plans yeah. all right so abroad for studies is, or for work purpose just to immigrate you know i just want to go there and settle down that is never, one of never my never back to india no <laughs> i mean i might come but uh, no i just i don't know i i've, I've got a lot of meet, foreign meet dreams meet your family foreign... members and relatives maybe maybe yeah that that is the dream that was the dream and that is that is still the dream i'm working towards that but you know such situations have happened in my life and it happens in everyone's life so we just need to take it and then we we will we will forget it for sure or we will just erase it or it will it will just fade away with with time it is okay. okay well i for your information i'm telling you something with heavy heart that i have lost my soulmate i have lost him okay 3 days back okay right. and i have been with him since last 9 years 9 years and my parents his parents everyone was appreciating our relation and people were ready for our okay. attachment and we were going to be in bond after 2 years i mean marriage was going to be fixed three days back i suddenly received a call in the morning and it was said that he died of heart attack would you believe okay. somebody of 26 years of age dies of heart attack it was so sudden so shocking for me i was not ready to accept that this could have happened to a 26 years old man who is health conscious i mean if there was a bad habit or something wrong with that person prior information i would have considered okay this was the case with him before and now it was compulsion this had to happen one day and this did not take place in the day time if it was during the day people might have noticed somebody might have taken him to the hospital mm-hmm. it happened at night when everyone was sleeping he couldn't call anyone for help and in the morning when people opened his room he was lying on bed and died he did not wake up since okay. then i've lost my mind i've lost my senses i'm unable to work out again and i'm i've stopped everything for time being i've stopped everything i don't know how to get back and gain the confidence again and start working again when everything every support system for me for every mm-hmm. step of my life is absent for me now I don't know i'm so sorry to hear that i'm really sorry i feel terrible right now just by hearing it so i understand what you're going through i totally understand it and all i have to say is that stay strong stay strong because uh, whatever has happened has happened you will have to admit that you know it has happened but you will have to go forward right i know i know there will be a lot of memories because 9 years is such a long time but what i want you to do is you know just uh, just slowly slowly not not right now but slowly start working towards your dreams you know yeah. you as i said earlier you just you just have to distract your mind a bit maybe work on a youtube channel or whatever your dreams are just work on that and i'm sure that you have to you will you will get back to uh, get back in track and you know everything will be fine from there on i know that this is just a bad patch in your life 
yeah. and it happens losing someone who is very close to you is not easy if you understand that all right okay i'm wearing i'm wearing his t-shirt i'm wearing his t-shirt i i went to his funeral to attend the funeral i took some clothes of him just to have some mm-hmm. memories collected because apart from photos i don't have anything with me so i took up his clothes i said for time being at least i'll feel that he's there with me because when i heard it i wasn't crying i was quite stuck for that moment and my mom slapped me after that she slapped me after that after that i started crying i was stuck for mm-hmm. a moment when i heard it out of my senses unable to believe my mom slapped me after that i came back i thought what has happened will you repeat it again then i started crying and i'm crying since my voice is not normal i don't sound like this my viewers when they see this they'll feel that what has happened to my voice my voice is not this way i usually mm-hmm. talk very confidently and happily I, i i don't know if i've spoiled your mood completely by no saying- no no not totally fine no 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 don't worry about that i'm fine i'm fine all right so um i really do not know what to say because i know i had kept it on my status and all my friends who ever called me they said that i called you just to share your pain little bit but i do not have anything to say you back i said it's okay it might it's all right it's all right you just have to admit that mm. admit happened. that god is going to take all of us one day yeah and yeah one day you gonna you gonna unite you know you will unite with unite. that person yeah that so, that's the thing one of my friend told me he said we are just 50 years apart we have next life of ahead 50 years and after 50 years we yeah. definitely going to go to that place where he is and he is taken exactly. a bit earlier and we will be going later we are not permanent here we are temporary for time being and all of us have to visit that place Right, we're all, right. We're, we're all going to reunite there. Absolutely, one hundred percent. You're gonna meet him, and you're gonna have a wonderful life together after that. After that, so, I believe. Yeah, so. it'll happen. Don't worry. Just keep faith. I'm and, sorry you know, just if I strong. if I spoiled no, your. No, 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 no. I might have classes ahead no, of. Not me. at all. Not at all. It's. I fine. just It's felt totally like fine. I let me have a friend to talk to. And I it's don't great. have friends yeah. as much. I have rarely two or three friends who have spoken to me, and I thought that let's get busy, let's distract my mind a little bit, and have a friend to talk a little bit. So I just took the session. That's great. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, yes, what you did is the right thing. Actually, you booked the session. Mm-hmm. You spoke to mm-hmm. me. You sort of shared everything, all your sorrows to me, and now you. might feel a little bit lighter lighter right you have this light mindedness little so uh, yeah. yeah so that's great whatever you did is right okay so again and again i'm just repeating the same thing you have to stay strong okay it's just you who have to who has to go through everything so just stay strong just try to distract your mind and you know work on your goals not right now but when everything is normal yeah, when yeah. you feel like doing yeah. yeah also some Slowly. one another another um, tip that i would like to share with you is that uh, whenever you feel low all right this is something that i do okay so if you are into workouts or you know if you go to the gym etc that will help you to freshen up your mind okay this is something that i have been doing for the past few weeks maybe yeah. so yeah and i i'm 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 sure that there will be a day when you will be grateful for everything grateful. and you know you'll feel a lot better right you'll will be grateful that you stayed strong all throughout these uh, bad days all right and i'm sure uh, that uh, at the be- end i would like to review a little bit about clapping go all the audience who okay. are watching me for them it's not for you mm-hmm. it's for my audience who are watching me that even if you feel little low clapping or tutors help you get over it so whatever the season is whatever the case is whatever the timing is if you all are ready to improve your english you can definitely go ahead and join clapping tutors here not just be your friend they are completely like a partner for you they help you do 
go ahead. They help you correct your mistake and they help you learn better than English. So it's yeah. it was for my viewers. Yeah. Okay. All right. And what is your channel? I'll definitely check it out. Kavita Divakar. My name. Kavita. If you type Kavita Divakar. Okay. Kavita Divak. Okay. Soon after the session, I'm going to. check out check out your channel and do you have a lot of subscribers do you have a lot of audiences i have started it a year back and i have created okay. this three videos of clapping go up till now the rest all are my own videos my solo videos which i used to create for my own happiness i like creating videos many so i yeah. do it for my interest I'll all continue right, that, right. but once I gain that confidence, once again to be strong enough to face the camera and start recording with the same voice and confidence, I'll come back. It'll all come anything, back. Trust me. Anything about my It'll English? Oh, I think you're doing a fantastic job. I don't think that I should give you a feedback as such because I couldn't, you know, uh, notice any mistakes at all. Right? Whatever you said was amazing. All right. so uh, don't don't think about your english right now all right just focus on yourself you need to get out of this all right and i'm sure that you'll feel a lot better and uh, as time you know, passes I, by i feel that last 3 yeah, days i was good. not in the condition to even pick up someone's call but today at least i am talking to you that's a little yeah. progress i have seen in myself yeah yeah and you'll okay, be I you'll think be great. our session is okay. going to get over in a it'll, minute it'll be over yeah yeah it will get disconnected soon so it was really nice talking to you okay bye bye you're welcome bye